What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about all of my favorite high-end foundations. Ride or die, all-time favorite, and yes, I almost did say drugstore because I'm so used to doing drugstore videos here on my channel, but this is the one video I am not going to be talking about. Maybelline Fit Me, surprisingly. I know, it's, I'm shook. I'm a little shook, but we're going to have to do it because I really wanted to focus on like the higher-end foundations that are actually worth your money. I'm telling you guys, these are my ride or dies. These are foundations that I know I can always count on, and for different reasons, you know what I mean, but I'll get into all that later, um, but yeah, I just really wanted to share this with you guys because obviously, I want to help you guys and I feel like these foundations are the kind of things you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. So I got you boo. We're going to go ahead and get started. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. And don't forget to also hit the bell if you want to be notified of all of my videos. I do do tons of drugstore stuff. I do tons of stuff like this, like products worth your money, get ready with me, and like tutorials and stuff. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do it now. Now's the time to do it because we are gonna get started and also don't pay attention to my nails in this video because I um, spilled super glue like all over my hands like it literally exploded on me and um, I got it all off my hands at this point but it wouldn't come off my nails so they're looking a little janky but that's all right we're just gonna you know move past that for this video and get into these foundations because they're so bomb I can't even like wait to talk about them any longer. So the first one is one that I am telling you guys, I recommend to almost anybody who asks me like what's a good high-end foundation that's never gonna look cakey, that has pretty good coverage but not like too full coverage, you know what I mean? Like when you're looking for just an all-around basic foundation that is very hydrating, very moisturizing, this is the one that I always recommend to people. So this is the Tarte Cosmetics Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation and I'm sure you guys have heard about this before or yeah it's like not that new by any means. I've used it a bunch of times. It comes out in this little dropper and that's what the foundation looks like. I'm in the shade medium tan sand by the way and it's like a perfect match for me but I really really love this foundation because you can see how easily it like blends out and sinks into the skin and it does leave you with a little bit of a glow which you guys know that I really like um, and if you have dry skin I'm telling you I have recommended this to so many of my friends that have you know dry skin or dry patches or something like that and they're like oh my god where has this foundation been all my life because I'm telling you if you have dry skin this is gonna be probably your number one foundation because it doesn't like cake onto any patchy spots at all it has pretty good coverage I would say it's medium to full buildable coverage I usually go in with like two layers most of the time I would say yeah um, but yeah it does have very good coverage it never gets dry because it you know it it's called the rainforest of the sea it's gonna have that like hydrating boost in there and I'm just telling you like it just wears so beautifully throughout the day I have worn this for like 12 hours 16 hours straight and I'm telling you it still looks flawless at the end of the day so such an amazing foundation especially if you have dry skin try it out because I think your life is gonna be changed after this I have oily skin but I still love it and I definitely think it's one of my ride or die foundations now the next one I want to talk about is actually one that I literally never hear any talk about um, I don't think I've ever heard one person even talk about it on YouTube or anything like that but it honestly is one of my favorite foundations it is very pricey so I haven't even talked about it that much and I've been using it for probably six months over six months I bought it last December so I've been using it for quite a while but like I said, it is a little bit pricey, so I, know, I don't like to talk about it too much because, you know, I know a lot of you guys want to, um, you know, spend, I guess, get get the most bang out of your buck, but I can honestly say that if you are looking for an item to splurge on, this foundation is worth the splurge. So this is actually from Burberry, I know, Burberry makeup, like, I'm honestly pretty impressed with their stuff but like I'll get into that in another video but this is the Burberry um Fresh Glow Foundation, number 38, Warm Honey. That's my shade. And I'm telling you guys, this is one of the most beautiful foundations I have ever used. This is actually the one that I'm wearing today, and it's one that I reach for a lot, um, just on an everyday basis. Like I said, I don't really talk about it too much on YouTube. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, honestly. Maybe once or twice, but really not that often compared to how much I use it. But it is very, very nice. So that is what the actual um, foundation looks like. Like this one has a little bit more of a cream texture. The Tarte um, foundation has more of a watered down, like liquidy texture. This one is definitely a little bit more of a cream, but I love the finish of it. This and okay, 
I'm gonna have to step back because this is very unlike me, but this is not a full coverage foundation. This is actually, I would say, light to medium coverage. But the thing that I love about it is that it just stays looking amazing throughout the entire day and it really I really really love the finish of it because it does have that luminosity to it I know they have a matte foundation too if you're looking for matte that my friend Nikki loves because she's the one that actually recommended this to me because she knows I like a glowy finish she likes a matte finish and she said it's a bomb foundation but I really love the radiant finish that this one has and just the fact that it, the staying power is just unreal. Like I never look oily throughout the day which is crazy because I do have oily skin and just the way that it wears, it does wear very beautifully. I will say that because you guys know I like full coverage usually, but because this is a light to medium coverage, I will go in with a layer of this, You sometimes even two layers, and it layers on nicely, it doesn't cake up, but then I have to use a fuller coverage concealer with it. So I can't use a lightweight concealer because I need to have a little bit more coverage, you know, throwing a little coverage in there. So I'll usually go in with a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer with this, so that's kind of like what I pair with it, but I have to say it is a beautiful foundation, and and if there is one high-end foundation that I would recommend to you if you like a radiant finish, it is probably this one. Like this is this might be my favorite one out of all of the ones that I'm gonna mention, which that's saying a lot, honestly. Whew, okay, you guys know whenever I talk about um, makeup that I love, I literally get so heated about it. Like I'm so excited, so like, ugh, but we gon' you know, we gon' do me. So the next one is from Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs. Um, so this is the uh, full cover foundation concentrate remarkable oh yes it's called the remarkable full coverage Co foundation concentrate I always forget the name of this guy but um, this is a full coverage foundation it is a matte finish to me when I wear it um, and it does come in like this little dropper thing the, the the packaging I'm not like crazy about honestly because I don't know I just find it like a little tedious to use you know you have to dot it all over your face like I you kind of have to, like, it, it, you, you got to put some work into it, you know? It's not like a dropper where it's just like, doop, you're good to go. Um, so that's the only thing that's, like, kind of a downfall for me for this foundation. But if you're looking for a matte foundation, I honestly, like, I would say this is pretty matte. I don't know if it's marketed as matte or, um, you know... I don't really know what they market the actual finish of, but to me, how I or how it wears on me, it is like a natural to matte finish. Um, so whenever I'm looking for a matte finish, like you see the other two that I mentioned, they had glowy finishes. So whenever I'm looking for matte, this is usually the one that I will turn to because it has a beautiful coverage, like so full coverage, I know, is crazy. Um, but the thing that I like about it is that it's full coverage with just one layer, doesn't cake up, and it is matte, but it is not drying. That is the number one thing that I dislike about most matte foundations is that it is drying, and that's even on me. I have oily skin, and I even find them drying, but with this particular foundation, it is just like, it's like a cream almost. Like, it really does feel like a cream on your face. It wears nicely. It's not like heavy feeling like a lot of matte foundations are, and I would recommend this to pretty much anyone who's looking for a matte foundation, just because it's probably the best matte foundation that I've ever tried um, especially 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 in the high-end realm so yeah shout out to Kelsey because she's the one that recommended me to this she wore this on her wedding day and I was shook at her skin like that day her skin looked flawless and then she was like yeah dude it's the Marc Jacobs foundation and I literally went and bought it that day and that was like back in November so again I've used this for a long 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 time and I really can say it is worth the money if you're looking for matte foundation okay Whew. Gotta, gotta take a breather here. Um, the next foundation, surprise, surprise, going back to the lumin luminous, like, dewy finish. Um, because you guys know, that's kind of like more so what I gravitate towards. And this one is definitely a ride or die product. I've been using this for years. It was actually the first high-end foundation that I ever bought. And one of the only high-end foundations that I ever bought for years and years and years. And to this day, I still love it. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It's getting so dirty because my hands are dirty because I'm swatching all the foundations. Um, but yeah, this is, like I said, I feel like I just said this, but Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. I am in the shade 7.5 for those of you who are similar shades to me, but I'm telling you guys, this is a gorgeous foundation. There's definitely a reason for the hype around this foundation. I feel like pretty much anyone and everyone has talked about it before at least once in their lives. Um, 
Wow, so dramatic. At least once in their lives they've talked about this foundation. Um, no, but I really do think that the hype is legit. It is radiant. It has a dewy finish. It's very lightweight. I usually just use one layer of this guy and I'm pretty much good to go. I would say this is like a medium coverage. Yeah, I would say it's like perfectly medium. I wouldn't say it's light to medium or medium to full. I would say it's like right in the middle. Let go Lux medium. Um, but the thing that I really like is the undertone of this foundation. It just matches me so well. If you have olive -y, um skin, oh my god, like you're gonna love this foundation if you haven't already tried it. Um, I don't know if this is doing any good honestly at this point because I've literally just been layering all the foundations. But that is what the foundation looks like. It has such a beautiful lightweight finish. Like even when I'm rubbing it in right now, it just feels like almost a serum that just sinks into your skin. And on top, like, I literally have, like, five other foundations, no, three other foundations underneath it, and I still can feel that, like, serum-y, sink-in kind of vibe that it has, and I really, really love, um, that in itself, just the feeling of this foundation. I wouldn't say that this is, like, the most long-wearing foundation I've ever tried. I think some of the others that I've already mentioned wear longer throughout the day, but I can say that this one looks beautiful in pictures. So, if you're, you know, going for a photo day, or if you have an event where you know you're gonna get photographed, photographed. <laughs> if you know you're going to get photographed, I think this is a beautiful foundation to choose just because it does have that luminosity and I'm pretty sure there is no sunscreen and I know that there's no flashback. So it would be great for a wedding day, like I said, photo day. Um, pretty much any time you're going to get photographed, this is the one that I would recommend. Okay, last one. Um, so, sort of actually going along the same lines, but actually in videos. So this foundation I find to be the most beautiful on video for some reason. I know that's kind of crazy, but like life of a YouTuber, you think of these things. Um, so this is actually the Makeup Forever. Oh my gosh, it is so dirty. Um, but yeah, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation, and honestly, I'm not like a huge stick foundation person overall. I do prefer liquid foundations in general, but this one, I don't know what it is. There's something very special about this particular stick foundation. Um, I will say this, it does have a little bit of an oily finish to it, but if you like radiant finishes like I do, then like honestly, you're not going to have any problem. And if you have dry skin, I think this is going to be perfect. I do have oily skin, so like that's why I'm bringing up the oil for all of my other oily skin girls and gals out there. Girls and gals, okay. I meant girls and boys. <laughs> um, anyways, so um, when you apply it, let me, let me, let me, let me switch hands right now. Um, so when you apply it, you can see like it does have a sheen to it. And just in general, when you apply it, it will have a, what people call greasy finish. I kind of just think of it as a radiant finish, um, but I have heard that complaint sometimes. Um, but I will say, like I was saying before, I kind of go off on these tangents, but like I was saying before, this foundation looks so beautiful and glowy in videos, but also pictures. Um, and I don't know what exactly it is, but it really does make my skin look like, I can't even explain it, like it looks like it's almost airbrushed with a bunch of natural highlights. And I really love the effect of this one um, on camera. So I definitely wanted to mention it. This one actually wears so well throughout the day as well. Like I will put this on at 6 a.m. and it will be good to go 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Like it's really, really long wearing as well. That's one thing that is quite important to me overall, like as a general guideline for foundations. So um, you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar that most of the foundations that I'm mentioning are long wearing foundations. Um, they just kind of have different finishes. So it depends really what you're looking for. So to kind to recap this one has like a natural to radiant finish great for dry skin very lightweight has a definitely like liquidy 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 texture to it um, the Burberry foundation is amazing like I said I'm wearing it today and I just I love it I've I will always love this foundation from like from now till forever on. Ever since I tried it, I've really, really, really enjoyed it. It has more of a cream finish. It's a little bit of a thicker formula, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And I will say that this one wears amazing, like literally amazing. And I think that this would actually be good for any skin type because it's not too liquidy, it's not too dry, you know what I mean? I feel like it's a very good base foundation, especially if you're looking for a radiant finish. If you're looking for matte, try out the matte one because I've heard 
from my friend who's like as obsessed with makeup as me, especially luxury makeup, um, that it's amazing. And the Marc Jacobs Foundation matte finish to me. And if you have oily skin, I think this is gonna be amazing for you because it has that matte finish that a lot of, you know, people with oily skin want and sometimes I want on rare occasions, I know, because usually I'm all about the glow. But um, yeah, I think that it's an amazing matte foundation. It wears very nicely over the skin. It's super full coverage and it's very lightweight. So very solid again. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, my little baby. This has been like, I think this is the longest, um, longest running foundation that I have actually. And this foundation is just overall good, very lightweight. It looks beautiful in pictures. It has a glowy finish. It just, it's, it wears really nicely throughout the day. It never gets cakey and I just think it's a very solid foundation. And again, luminous finish. And then finally, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. Amazing wear time, glowy finish. I think this would be awesome if you have dry skin, but I have oily skin and I love it. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of like my little recap of all the foundations that are my ride or dies. Like literally, I think I would die if I didn't have these foundations. <laughs> so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and Yeah, should we do a giveaway? Let me go. Let me go find something to give you guys today I've got one of my favorite products of all time I always get questions about my self tanner like what self tanner I use it is always this guy So this is the loving tan to our express in dark and I'm gonna be giving you guys one of these as well as the loving tan bronze shimmer luminous cream in dark and also two little um, goodies to go along with that so this is the loving tan deluxe applicator mint and the tan remo removing and skin polishing glove so all you have to do to enter to win is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and then also comment down below what your favorite foundation of all time is. Okay, comment down below. Actually, I don't remember if I've already done that one or not. Um, but I don't know. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. So that is going to be it for me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you can find me on Instagram. It's just at Roxetarisa on Snapchat at Roxani3. And then also on my vlog channel. If you guys want to see more of like my day-to-day -day life, um, I do upload vlogs. I'm trying to vlog more this summer. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, remember you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love that you always give me. I feel so blessed to have you all in my life. And like, um, I don't know. I'm just like proud of how far we've come. I can't believe we're almost at 500. I mean, not that close, honestly. We're like 40,000 away or so, but that's all right. We doing it, fam. We doing it, homies. So that is actually going to be it for me. Sorry I got super rambly at the end, but I will see you guys next time.